fluidity from what, what you like about what your team did tonight? Win the game. <laughs> you know, it's a long season. There will be nights like tonight. You know, and, uh, it's easy for us to, you know, get down on the guys and, uh, you know, question certain things. But the reality is you go out there and win. And, you know, they, they did that. And, you know, we'll just keep working to get better. Coach, roughly 20 games in, good sample, near 500. Uh, as a team, you know, are they where you envision them to be or have they exceeded expectations? Uh, that's a great question. Um, you know, my expectations are probably a little bit um, irrational because of uh, my experiences. So, I, you know, I didn't really, I don't place limits or ceilings on any particular situation. You know, I think there are games that we could have won that we left on the table. So, you know, whether or not we're okay with where we are, I mean, sure, I think we're, we're taking steps in the right direction. But, um, you know, we still have to be greedy and hungry and have a sense of urgency about what we're doing. Um, you know, so that every game, every quarter means something to us. And I think we're getting there, but it, it's still going to take some time. Yeah, Coach, uh, Chris Saff is uh, another double-double. What do you see in this game as a rookie like What do you see? Um, it's a hard thing to do, but I see um, he's just fully present. Even though he's making mistakes, you know, like all players make, um, he's completely wrapped up in the game that particular night. What happened the last game is not in his mind. When we play the next day, it doesn't seem to be in his mind. He's just playing the game that's in front of him at that time, and that's a difficult thing to do um, for players. There's so many variables and distractions, but for a young guy, he seems to just be fully present and engaged, and um, you know, I think I think that helps a lot to be able to sustain performance. Following up on Chris Stapps, how has he compared to your expectations of him coming into the season? Yeah, no, that, that word again. Um, you know, there's no way to know. You know exactly how the season will start. You know for Chris, um, you know we obviously you know, felt very strong about drafting him at number four. We liked a lot of things about him. We thought he would be a great selection. Um, so far, it seems like you know although it wasn't improved at first, it seems to have turned a little bit. Uh, but there were no expectations of he's only capable of doing this and he's exceeding that. Uh, I think it's a blank canvas, and he can be as great as he wants to be. But that's the message I give to every player in that locker room. Uh, so, you know, I think he's striving to be the best he can be right now. And I, he's doing a pretty good job of it. Coach, uh, Carmelo said, I think it was last week, that, you know, when he's done, it would sort of become Chris Stapps' team. But he's only 31 now. And with as well as Chris Stapps is playing already, what do you envision for the two of them in terms of the partnership and the way they work together? Yeah, no, I'm, that's new information for me. So um, I'll answer the question, but for a guy that played until he was 39, <laughs> <laughs> 31 is not anything. So um, no, I what I hope to envision is that um, you know the things that they do well out on the court will continue to be strong suits. Uh, you know, Carmelo draws a lot of attention, makes the game easy for guys around him, but we have to play the game in the right way in order to do that. And they, they do seem to have a rapport and, and a chemistry that will, will develop more over time, you know, as they play together. Um, and, and I think Chris has earned a level of respect that, you know, for a veteran guy like Melo, um, you know, he'll continue to invest time in talking to him and developing a relationship with him. Future in this game is like tomorrow, so you can't really plan too far in advance. And you know we'll take what we have right now. Coach, uh, 12 points tonight for Jerry and Grant. Can you talk about you know his progression as a rookie point guard and some of the advice you've been giving him for the season going on? Yeah, no, being a rookie in this league as a point guard is very tough to do. Um, it it's never goes in a straight line probably have higher highs and lower lows than any other position um, because you're responsible for so many things. And so uh, all we're encouraging Jerry to do is to continue to be confident and trust himself and even with the mistakes um, to 
be fully engaged in, in that we see a, a level of engagement and sense of urgency when he's on the court. We know he's a cool, calm, you know, customer, but we, we want to make sure he's impacting the game when he's out there. You know, there tonight he did so. Yeah, how did uh, Carmelo look to you though tonight? I mean, did he look a little rusty or it was a little bit of a quiet? He actually moved well. Uh, I thought he ran the floor well and he was active, but just the rhythm to the shooting wasn't uh, wasn't there, which is to be expected when you, you know, haven't done much in, in a few days. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you're as ill as he was, uh, you know, the equilibrium's a little off, you don't have the same balance and flow to yourself. So um, he actually moved much better than I thought he would. I thought his, his stamina, his endurance was pretty good. And he played an active game. He rebounded a little bit. And, you know, he definitely still helped us win tonight. He, 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 was, he was good. Coach, what's your assessment of, of Langston? He started the season shooting the ball well, 0 for 5 tonight, the last few games, he, his shot seems well. What's your assessment as to where, what's going on with Langston now? Well, I mean, you know, nobody in the history of the game has shot 60% or 59% or whatever from three-point range for the whole season. So we knew that would come down at some point. Um, my assessment of Langston is that um, this is what being in the NBA is all about. And, uh, you know, how do you continue to stay positive and impact the team's success when you're not individually doing things at, at a level you think you're capable of. So if you're 0 for 5 and the team wins, you know, how are you impacting that process? <coughs> and then eventually the shots will come back. I mean, he can shoot the ball. We know that. Um, but um, to stay confident and uh, make sure you're still positively impacting the team. All right. Thank you. Yeah.